Shaitan makes waswasa, gives whisperings to everyone. As long as that waswasa doesn't go out, it has no ruling. Some people think that they only have waswasa. As long as there's shaitan, he will he will give it out everywhere. But we should not pay attention to it. No need to go out and tell others this happened and that happened. People who do so do it in order to weaken or remove people's faith, Iman. Some people who claim to be Muslims and who have no mind or who are controlled by shaitan say, you did this, it is right, or it is wrong, and cause many people to have waswasa. Waswasa harms people. May Allah protect us. It harms your iman. Therefore, Allah accepts things we do ma'al qusur, with the shortcomings. We shouldn't doubt it. We should not doubt it. Because as long as you carry out the order of Allah Azza wa Jalla, Allah accepts everything. Allah is forgiving. He loves forgiving. You are most forgiving and you love forgiveness. So no need to have waswasa in the things we do. However you do it, make your intention for ablution, wudu, and perform it. Perform your wudu immediately at that moment and Allah will accept it. If you do it for three hours, shaitan causes waswasa then. You won't be able to do it for three hours every time and then you will quit it completely. You will quit wudu and praying. It is the same while praying as well. Was it right or was it not? It's right. Allah will accept it. Allah will Azza is not in need of your prayer, just in order for you to carry out His order, His commands. Allah gave this command. When you carry out His order, Allah Azzawajalla accepts it. Therefore, you should not make waswasa. In everything they do, people can have unimaginable waswasa. We shouldn't pay attention to it. If it doesn't go out, you should say, I'm doing this, Allah will accept it. Don't think if it was right or not. It is right with the permission of Allah. This has increased lately. Various things have occurred two to three years ago. You spread it, the virus. No, I spread it. Waswasa was put in people. If you go out and spread it, you will be held responsible for it too. People with low Iman made it worse for people by saying so in khutbas, sermons in the mosques. Therefore, no need for waswasa. Whoever has whatever lifespan, whether you are a means or not, it is the will of Allah Azza wa You cannot interfere in the work of Allah. Hasha, far from it. Whoever is meant to die will die. Whoever is not meant to die will stay. So there is nothing like as such as such as you did it, I did it. 
Rely on Allah and keep on your way. Don't let the waswasa inside you go out. Because, as we said, there is waswasa. But don't exaggerate it and don't ruin your life. Give thanks to Allah. Keep on the path of Allah. And Allah will do what He wants. It is not in your or my hands. Therefore, carry out His orders. That's it. May Allah protect us all from waswasa and the shaitan, because waswasa is from shaitan. He has captured the whole world and made it worse. Therefore, it is important that people who are Muslims and mu'mins rely on Allah and don't listen to waswasa, that, that they don't let their waswasa out to be more accurate. May Allah protect us all from the evil of shaitan and the evil of waswasa.